Hi, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, The History Squad. This is one of my little uh, question and answer sessions. And this kind of starts off with one of my subscribers and I've got to tell you the name, the handle, yeah? It's Tarquin Patang Patang, Old Biscuit Barrel. Thanks, <laughs> that is fantastic. And the question, it's quite straightforward. How effective were the longbow arrows or the longbowmen at Agincourt against charging knights? And I like this subject. So, 1415, Battle of Agincourt. The English bowmen, yeah, they've arrayed themselves around the battlefield. They have the hearse, the triangular pieces pointed out. They've all hammered their stakes in chest height of a horse. Uh, they've done this to protect themselves from the charging cavalry. So there's a bit of a hint there, isn't it? They know that their arrows aren't going to stop mounted knights. They'll bring one or two down, especially the bowmen who are slightly out on the edges because the closer the cavalry get, they're going to shoot them through the side, through the flanks. This is going to drive the cavalry towards the centre, get away from the edges. But not only this, you have to understand, I ride a horse, yeah, and I know what they can be like. If you imagine trying to control your horse, you're going forward, you're looking through a narrow slit, slit, yeah? You're not actually charging full gallop. You leave the French lines at a walk. You then build up to a trot, your lance is up, but arrows are coming in, yeah? Your horse might be hitting the rump. It might have one sticking in him and he's, oh, juddery but you're coming on, it's not going to stop you, is it? It's not going to stop your horse unless it's fatal. Then you build up to the trot. From the trot now, you're starting to get, whoa, just a little bit. Are you going to break into a canter? Hold that horse back, trying to control it. Arrows coming from the left, from the right. Where are you going to go? Let's aim for the centre. So as they come in, the arrows are pouring left, right and centre. Or are they? Because don't forget, behind the cavalry, apparently there was only about 600 of them, there is the French army. So the bowmen aren't going to spend all their arrows on the, on the cavalry, are they? They're going to be sending them into the French army as well. Now, as the cavalry now lances down, accelerate their horses, ride in those spurs into the canter, straight towards the bowmen. They're not going to stand there, those bowmen. Oh, I'm going to shoot the knights. They're going to run behind their wooden stakes and brace them. The cavalry connect, those men who are thrown amongst them, dead. Those who are caught, drag them off the horses, yeah? This is what the bowmen do. Dispatch them with their picks, their knives. Now, those cavalry who survive the impact are still being hit by arrows, and they can see what's been happening here. The guys have been dragged from their horses. So they turn around, and they go back up the battlefield. They're not going to hang around, are they? Because as soon as they turn their back, the horse's rumps are a target. So they're going to go through that muddy field. Don't forget it had been raining. It must have been awful. The foot soldiers coming the other way, their ankle deep in mud, when all of a sudden their own cavalry trying to escape, plow through them. And horses don't go for the gap. They will jump onto people. Yeah, you look at the horses that, uh, that were against the riots with the police in London way back in the 60s and 70s. The horses jumped onto people when they were out of control. The French army now is in terrible array. They're coming forward and the arrows are pouring in. The knights at the front, some might fall, but for the majority, they made it to the wooden stakes. But they're exhausted. And don't forget, when they made it finally to the wooden stakes, the bowmen had run out of arrows. Now the fight's going to begin, hand to hand. The bowmen were professional soldiers, and at Agincourt they were led by a professional soldier. It was the mud, it was the crowded French, it was the English professional army, it was our commanders. You put everything together, that's what beat the French. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I kind of get a bit, you know, oh, I want to be there. Yeah, so if you've enjoyed it, Thumbs up for me. Those who've subscribed, followers, great. Those who haven't, subscribe and ding that bell. And I'll speak to you next time. Oh, I need a cup of tea now.